In today's video, we will be talking about the Dental Council of India. The Dental Council of India or the DCI as we all know was formed on the 12th of April 1949. You might at times have wondered who are the members of the DCI or what is the criteria one must fulfill to become a part of the DCI. Well, to answer your query, according to the Dentists Act 1948, there are several representative groups amongst which one representative each is chosen and together they form the Dental Council of India. Let's understand the members better by taking a look at this picture. As you can see, the first member that we will talk about is a dentist who is elected by the dentist registered in the Part A of each state register. The second member is a member of the Medical Council of India who is also elected by members amongst themselves. The next group includes four members who could belong to different groups. They could be the principal, deans, director or the head of dental department of a medical college. They could also belong to universities in the state. Next, as you can see, India has several states, 28 to be precise, and each state is represented in the DCI by a member who is nominated by the respective state government. Alongside this, six more members are nominated by the central government. According to the rules of these six, one member has to be a practicing dentist as seen in this picture or one who is training students in a college. Along with this, two members out of the six should be registered in Part B of the state register. The remaining three people could be members, whoever the state government wants to nominate. Lastly, the Director General of Health Services is also a member of the Dental Council of India. The DCI is mainly concerned with maintaining the standard of dental education. For this, the council has set certain minimum physical requirements of a dental college along with a minimum staff pattern for undergraduate dental colleges. The council has also stated the staff teaching the BDS and MDS students are required to have a basic qualification along with previous teaching experience. Alongside this, the council is also concerned with registering qualified dentists and eliminating quacks. For this, a minimum education standard has been set along with specifications regarding how the students will be selected into the BDS course and the course duration. The dental curriculum as well as the scheme for examination have also been specified by the council. This was all about the members and function of the Dental Council of India. Thank you. For more such videos, Download our app and watch videos seamlessly and learn through visually engaging mind maps. We hope we made public health dentistry slightly better for you. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and see you guys in the next